can see there because I pushed the record button on my phone. Holy shit, people. I am dead. Like, for real. Okay? If you didn't know. Okay. Or you haven't been paying attention or around to notice. I've had a live stream over the weekend from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock and uh, 24 whopping hours I sat in front of a computer and played Call of Duty World War 2. I technically played like two or three other games but I played them for like I'd say out of 24 hours of actual gameplay that I played three hours worth of anything else and the other 21 hours was all Call of Duty World War II. And that's not even an exaggeration, that's probably very accurate to fact. Um, I loved I, I loved that game and I'm, I'm going to play it when I go back home. Uh, facts that I was talking to about at the end of the stream. Yeah, I did really eat a whole lot of food. I ate some chips and stuff for snacks and you know every once in a while I made you know I made meals naturally or had uh, my mom pair the meal that way I could go up and get it and then just go back to, uh, to streaming. But uh, I smoked like two and a half packs of cigarettes because naturally I was outside and I had the ability to smoke a cigarette whenever I wanted to so there was really nothing ever stopping me so pretty much every moment that I had that I was like I should smoke a cigarette I smoked a cigarette so we smoked like 30 cigarettes in 24 hours my lungs hurt my voice is a bit raspy from talking and being dead tired all night uh, I'm on my way to go get cigarettes now, actually, because of how many I ended up smoking. I don't even have enough to last me through the weekend like I originally had bought, bought and or planned for. And, uh... So that's where we are and where we are at now. I slept for surprisingly only like seven hours you know people would have thought that I definitely I definitely thought I was going to be out for 12 hours at least but I got to bed about 1 2 o'clock in the morning and slept until 9 30 and then got up so definitely was a relief don't get me wrong I loved every bit of every minute of that sleep that I did get but it was just not to what I was expecting to sleep um, like I said had fun thank you for everybody who came out and watched um, joined in the conversation or just watched um, or anybody out there that donated thank you for that as well that's very awesome we're at $335 for extra life naturally it goes till the end of the year but the main pool is then. Hi, could I get two packs of Marble 100s and say like a pack of Swedish fish? Okay. <laughs> I was trying not to get candy, but I came down here and inevitably I got to get it now. And... You Marble 100s? Yes. <laughs> All right, now we're on our way back home. On the way home. It's like, what do you do on a day, on a Sunday, after you just spent 24 hours playing video games for a charity stream? Um, when you're super bored and you have nothing to do, you'd live stream more Call of Duty. So that's what I'm probably gonna go home and do because I don't have anything else to do. 
and uh, you know, naturally it's Sunday, so I would do a normal Sunday activity, which would be play video games. So, why the fuck not continue playing and live streaming the game that I'm already in love with playing and live streaming anyways? Uh, but yeah, oh, on top of numbers of things I did, I, I bought a 12 pack of Mountain Dew, and when I went to bed last night, I had three left, which I drank one this morning, so I have two left now. But it's to the point that realistically, uh, I drank so much pop yesterday that the very last pop that I drank, my stomach hurt so bad. It was like, dude, go fuck yourself. Thanks for all that sugar I drank. No water. Top all of that off this morning when I woke up and I finally got up and got to moving and got out of bed. I ran and I jumped on my bike and went on a quick like say three or four mile motorbike ride that was really fun and it's been semi warm out in Ohio so it was weather that was well worth the riding problem is is that the it was so warm and I had a sweatshirt and everything on and I hadn't slept and I was dead tired and all the other things that add up to add together to make for my beautiful morning. I ended up giving myself heat stroke. I got home, I almost threw up. I was faint, I couldn't stand up straight without feeling like I was gonna pass out. I needed water, my temperature was out the roof. Um, you know, one of those horrible times where you feel like you need to rip all your clothes off just to feel like you're not melting. That's pretty much where we were. So I did everything on my power. I drank two bottles of water. I sat in front of a fan that just blasted me with cold air. And after about 20 to 30 minutes, that went away. I went over to my neighbor's house to talk to him for a little while, hang out, went over there, did that. As I was doing that, found out that the other side of his house, because he also lives in a duplex, the other side of his duplex is currently for, um, the guy is moving out of it and so that would make it available for rent and the rent was supposed to be really cheap and that would be really cool i'd be like three houses down from my parents which would kind of suck but uh it would be cool in the sense of naturally my mom will feed me dinner so i don't have to always worry about that and uh and then it would be also be also naturally because then i would have my own place and it would be cheap rent and i'd be next to my neighbor and everybody else that's already really nice and uh in a place that i'm already used to and it'd just be all kinds of goodness and i i want to buy my own house it's been the plan and it's been my goal this entire time but what it comes down to is the, the it was like hey i really want a house so i jumped into trying to get a house and this is my first year ever attempting to try to get a house and then i find out like there are some things some stipulations nothing credit wise which most people's problem is credit wise and mine's fucking weirdly enough it's not my credit my credit's perfectly fine it's everything else that probably causes me a problem so because of that i have to wait it might be another year or two before i actually can purchase my own house it's very depressing because i would really like to not rent somewhere and just live in my own house for my own first place i ever moved but it's starting to get to the point where i'm starting to think like unless i rent for a couple of years you know, I'm pretty much not going to have anything to do. You know, I'll be stuck at home and I'm not trying to do that and shit like that. So, yeah, that's why things need to change. <coughs> well, but I'm back from getting cigarettes. I'm going to go back and play some Call of Duty and relax for the rest of this Sunday. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah. But anyways, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you should subscribe to keep up with awesome content. If you're already part of the channel, you can share the video and show other people how awesome it was that we made it for 24 fucking hours. It's a long time to be awake. And, uh, yeah. Leave me a comment below if you were fortunate enough to catch the stream sometime yesterday, last night yesterday night whatever time it was i'll see you guys later i still don't have all the color in my face but i'm alive i'm okay i feel alive i feel okay i feel like a new man every day that i wake that's because i'm matt freeman yo